Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Hughes, I am the Lord of Leisure and you miss me, I know, it's been a while and I've started to get a bit of gristle back, uh, unfortunately, don't worry, it'll go soon because, you know, I must be clean shaven and, you know, full of life. This is another Aftermath video where obviously I just tell you my uh, thoughts and feelings after watching a film at uh, the lovely big screen type thing. Tonight was something, yeah. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm not even, no, I, I, I am, I'm sure where to begin. It's just that, well, if this is not in the run-in for one of those Oscar bait uh, awards based on a true story, then why not? You know, I, I, I am just borderline shot. Uh, more than anything. Um, tonight, I have witnessed the behind-the-scenes story to one of the best worst films of all time, The Room. Starring, uh, and The Room is, of course, starring Tommy Wiseau, Greg Sestro, and various other happy-go-lucky scamps. It was released back in 2003, and... Yeah, uh, I've mentioned The Room before, I've obviously talked about it endlessly and, and so forth, but tonight it was the behind the scenes story. Um, Greg Sestro actually wrote a book about what happened during all the production of The Room from beginning to end, uh, and it was called The Disaster Artist. This was picked up into a film and yeah, it's it's basically there's an awful lot of stuff that I'm not sure if it's true or not. I mean, I've read the book, so therefore, yeah, it, it, it's it's in there, but it's kind of it is kind of hard to describe. It, it, I, I I will definitely give it a, a try. Right. So the disaster artist is the behind the scenes story of the room. Starring James and Dave Franco, it's been written, directed, and various other producers involved. As and they basically take the leads of Tommy Wiseau, Rex Estro, uh, in, you know, as themselves. You know, uh, uh, James Franco basically his Tommy Wiseau impression uh, is beyond. I am astonished. It, I, it was completely believable as Tommy Wiseau, and that's uh, it, that's amazing. Although, mind you, I, I, there was someone that uh, I worked with who kindly reminded me this morning that uh, James Franco did some naughty things back in 2014. And given the fact that everyone uh, in Hollywood is currently being fired from everything, that's when it starts getting in, in my head. So, thanks for that. Um, bit of a tangent, but suffice to say, it tells the story of how Greg and Tommy met, which was in acting class, and then they hang out together, they do things together, and then they go to San Francisco, uh, sorry, they leave San Francisco to go to Los Angeles to become famous actors, various things happen, they get rejections, they do some weird shit uh, along the way. Um, meet Sharon Stone because why not <laughs> um, and then that's when the point comes when they make their own film The Room and they buy equipment they confound a lot of people they actually there are points you know for all the laughs uh, and so forth that you get out of this film and don't get me wrong this is fucking funny absolutely fucking funny but there are real moments of like ah and yes someone was doing the wank thing there recording live isn't it great but there were some real moments of actual drama and then there were there were parts where you'd actually be 
frightened as to what's going to happen. Because, it, it, you know, the portrayal of Tommy uh, at times tends to be a little bit borderline, you know, enraged and, and angry that he's being left behind in certain situations and he reacts out, he just lashes. The crew are sticking with it because they're getting paid, but they don't know how. I mean, there's actually a point where it's rem it's remarkably emotional, actually. So if that if if half of what happened on screen here is indeed what happened in the room, then bloody hell, it is one of the weirdest true stories you could ever see and one of the most hilarious and I am personally extremely glad I came to watch this. Now, there is a couple of caveats with this. Now, there is, with because I've watched The Room, therefore I, I know the context and, and so forth, but I'm not sure whether or not it's good enough as a standalone just to tell the, uh, the story behind it without anyone actually knowing about the room uh, or watching it and throwing spoons at the screen and various other things. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 but it it was quite it was quite an eye opener actually with stuff that happened behind the scenes. And for all the people involved, hello, <laughs> hi, hi, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's getting in on the action. They all want to be on YouTube. Um, <laughs> but suffice to say, I'm so glad I've watched this. I. I can only do the one thing, and that's recommend you watch it. If this is to be an Oscar bait film, so be it, because frankly, it's astonishing. Even just what happens is astonishing. Sometimes, you know, the reactions and, and so forth, it makes no sense, but that is absolutely spot on for the people that are in it, that were living it. It's. There were times I felt sorry, there were times I was just laughing my ass off, there were times I was horrified. But you know what? It worked. And with the context of what happened behind the room and, you know, everything else, in a strange sort of way, I've got a much bigger appreciation of it. It's... I'm beside myself. Absolutely. So... Would I recommend The Disaster Artist for you to see if you've not watched The Room? Mostly yes. Yes, actually. And I tell you what, this, this would probably make you watch The Room. Just to witness it yourself. For everyone who, who's watched The uh, Room as well. Uh, yeah, absolutely. This is a must-see. Uh, and I do have to say this. Stay around uh, until the very, very end and you're going to have a scene that is so meta and so what the fuck that, yeah, you just take that away. So, terrific acting, actually, terrific soundtrack. A lot of songs from the 90s, including Rhythm of the Night, where, where uh, Tommy sings badly. Uh, but, yeah, uh, the disaster artist is not a disaster, and frankly, I am watching it again. <laughs> well, anyway, campers, I've been waffling on and being interrupted and uh, so forth for the past nine minutes or so. All in all, this has been well worth it. Please go and watch The Disaster Artist. I've been Paul Hughes. I'm going to go and drink myself silly or not. Probably not, because I'm boring and old. And uh, until the next Aftermath video, uh, just wow. Okay, take, uh, take it easy, campers. I'll see you soon. Bye! Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs>